If only Bolton had started this season like they finished the last one. Instead, they've been struggling to hit those heights. Behind here, after just four minutes, when Jesse Runratsaki, Charlton's impressive low knee from Crystal Palace, did the hard yards for Scott Fraser to give the visitors the lead and a potential move into the top six. But the bounce that Ian Everett had been looking for in his Bolton players after the midweek win over Crew returned within six minutes. Connor Bradley, on loan from Liverpool, timed his run to meet Jack Ardell's cross expertly. That was his third goal this season from right wing back. And Trent Alexander Arnold would surely have been impressed with another of Bradley's forward runs just before half time. Not the best first time shot, but as a pass to Kieran Lee, it couldn't have been better. 2 1 to Bolton at half time. Meanwhile, Raksaki, who looks to have developed some neat footwork from his Premier League main man, Wilfred Zaha, was proving hard to restrain, and James Trafford had to look lively soon after the restart. But in defence, Charlton just couldn't get a handle on either of the Bolton wingbacks. Ardell found time and space, but not quite the head of Bradley as he flew in for a spectacular second of the match. No matter, a well-worked free kick routine soon after delivered the winning goal for George Johnston. Back-to-back -back wins for Wanderers in the space of five days, only a second defeat of the season for the Addicts. So Charlton got themselves in front today. In the end, Dean, though, defensively, they were a little bit suspect and that cost them. Yeah, 17 shots conceded, couldn't cope with Connor Bradley and Jack Ardale. Wingbacks were absolutely superb. Joint most chances created, four each. And the two centre-backs, I thought, looked suspect when isolated, when Charlton's full-backs went. It's, I think it's something that, that needs to certainly be looked at. But if you were as open as they were against Bolton, then they will. In League One, Ipswich go top on goal difference from Portsmouth, who also won today. Plymouth jumped to third. Cambridge moving to the playoff places after another home win. If you look at the bottom, though, Burton and Morecambe remain winless. Shrewsbury were the only team in the current bottom half to win.